So let's continue with the activities. Uh, as you can see here, I'm at the workshop materials page again. And the first activity, you should have already looked at the, um, uh, the <coughs> access objects video, just to refresh your uh, memory about the structure of a, um, uh, of a database and the, and the objects which we can use within it to manipulate data and so forth. Right? Uh, now, uh, this, this next exercise is creating a simple database. Right? Uh, but before we do that, I, I recommend just download all of your files and um, load them into a directory like I've done here. So I've uh, put all my files into um, the, the uh, how would say, in, into a folder, appropriate folder for me, it's IS-2056 uh, 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 week nine. And the first exercise we'll be using is uh, the 2-1, so first activity database, right? So uh, you can even open that, um, I will now. Um, so I'm opening my database, but let's go back to the exercises here. And if I actually go into into the activity, it, the first activity is about creating a simple query. Right? And simple query, query implies creating um, a query which is um, is only operating on one table. Okay. Now uh, I recommend you pause the video right now and go off and have a look at the explanation of what is a simple query before we actually start the exercise. So there's a YouTube there uh, available uh, for you guys to look at before we start the exercise. So go ahead and pause right now and then we'll continue straight after. Alright, um, you should have um, seen the video. We've actually looked through the video now. Uh, if you did the instructions correctly, and uh, you should have already opened and downloaded the file for the first activity, which is the Access DB Access Database. Uh, you'll probably find when you open your database, uh, you'll actually see here um, that when I open my database, there's also an equivalent file called uh, 2.1 2.1 ACDB, and that's actually a lock file. So it's actually locking um, locking the file. <coughs> which means it's zero bytes, right? So just an identifier for access when it's manipulating a file, uh, a database itself. Now, remember for your assignment, it's extremely important. It's happened many, many times. Students have been submitting. Uh, I'm not sure whether you actually have to submit in this case, but sometimes be really careful when you're passing databases around that you're not sending in lock file, right? Uh, I know in previous uh, semesters, students had to submit a database. When they did, uh, they were submitting this zero bytes, and it was really causing problems. So always make sure that when you're sending something to someone, uh, you do the ACDB. And you notice here it's three and a half meg. Right? All right, so let's get back to the exercise at hand. And what happens is um, uh, we're actually going to be looking at opening this database. In the database, what we're going to do is actually operate on one table. So a simple query means that we're actually only creating a query which operates on one table. So let me switch over here to my database. And you can see here I've got the database and now we've got uh, the tables, which you should be familiar with all the tables over here uh, created in this database. If I right click on a on a table, I can open it. I can go into Design View, or I can double click on on the on the table. Once I've double clicked, I can actually see in Data Sheet View what is contained in that table, um, <clears throat> and I can go into Design View over here, which you should have learnt, or from down the bottom here, Design View, to get into uh, manipulating what are the field and the field names and what data types we're assigned to them. If we've got a number, make sure that you understand what type of number. Is it a byte, integer, and so forth? And remember, for primary key, foreign keys, these these types of numbers must must be the same, right? So when you're creating relationships, um, <coughs> remember that as well. Now, other important thing is, how do I close this? When you've got a whole bunch of tables uh, opened up, it's much easier just to do a right click and close all before you do anything else, right? So in this case, the exercise, if you follow the instructions, step one, step two, all the way through, uh, we'll actually be creating a simple um, query. Uh, you notice we don't have any queries here. We've just got a form set for data entry, uh, okay, data entry into these these tables. So we will be creating a, uh, a query using the program 
table. All right. So let's have a look here. I'll go create and notice the objects, table, query, forms, reports. Um, we will be using not the query wizard, but we're using the query design. So I'll go to design here. Now I'm in in <coughs> um, in the design mode uh, for a query. Right? And before I start, I'm actually just going to save this query as it says in the instructions to save it uh, by, with a name called, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, is uh, program details. So I'll just copy it from my other screen and I'm just going to save this so I can go to file save up the top or file save as well. Right, so I usually use the quick and easy or the control S but in this case just for the demo I'll click the icon. That would be the query name. Very um, very useful, right? No. So I'm going to give this query program details because we want to list all the um, programs program details within that table. So I'll save it. And now you notice one of my objects here is the query uh, query that I've just created. And now I can operate on the query here. Now the query has a data set here, and the data set um, enables you to pick items uh, for a particular table right? uh, like uh, the field parameters. So how do we add add tables to this? I can just click and drag in here. Right? Uh, I'm going to delete that. Right? Uh, or alternatively I can just go up here and say add table. So in design, design, design menu I can add tables. So over here I can actually double click on the, on the table. Um, or I can even do a right click show tables right? which is the same as add tables which will give me this. Now let me just show you again right click show tables and I can even drag from there as well so simple query means that we're operating on the one table I'm going to, I'm going to close that. You notice I've got a property sheet here as well so I can get properties of the individu uh, individual tables which I can play around with but we're not really worried about that at the moment so I'm just going to close it now, how do I uh, query these parameters? Uh, what we do is, we can now, because I have a, t a table in here, oh, by the way, let's save, save. Um, I can actually go down to the, um, to the data set here and actually pick the individual items or the fields that I want to operate on. You notice there's one here called program star. The star means, uh, same as the item up here, star means uh, list all parameters, so it's actually a wild card, right? a wild card saying all, all, all of these um, items. But for this exercise, I don't want to uh, show the program ID, and I don't want to pick from here. So I'm just going to do the simple thing: is you double click what you want in your uh, in your query as a as a data set. So if I double click here, it's added pro uh, the category from the table program. Right? Um, I can do the same thing for the other guys. I'll do display, discount, and price. So now, I, whenever this query runs, so if I execute this query, it'll return all of the parameters of category, discount, and price from the table program. Right, so let's try it. Let's go to save. And then your option is uh, either run the, uh, the query, or you can even just do a straight view. Right, so you can go into view or uh, SQL view if you're really advanced later on but I recommend don't do this until you really know what you're doing with databases but I can go to data sheet view and the query is executed and returned the values um, that the query extracted from the program table okay so that was the first um, first query which is a select query I'll go back into design just to finish off there are other parameters here which you will be covering very shortly is the sort parameter so you can actually go in and do a sort um, <clears throat> you can also do the criteria which means that I can look for certain certain values uh, for this particular field so for this field I could put a criteria in there say I just want gold or whatever program uh, category and it would just list that uh, <clears throat> Okay, um, alternative, same thing, there's an OR function. So um, if I just uh, just list um, all my parameters in here saying gold, discount 10 or something around, it would mean just return values which, which, uh, which are <coughs> the same as 
category and discount. But if I actually put in gold here and then um, put down here 10, it'll mean or, which means it will give me gold and 10, not just, no, sorry, both of the criteria will be matched as an or, so we'll get more records if there are available. Uh, the other thing you should know as well, you can highlight these guys and then delete, which means get rid of the item, or alternatively, I'll put it back, um, I can also do this sort of thing. I can say I, I want it in a different order as well. So you can highlight and shift them around. Okay. All right. So I hope that helped you out. That was the first exercise for, for today. The simple query, which means a query, create, query design on a, on a single table. So select query on a simple, single table. Right. I'll switch over to the next activity.